So here we are inside of Canva. And if you don't know what Canva is, it's a design platform that can be used for social media marketing and a range of other situations. And more recently, they've been adding features like documents, whiteboards, and presentations to become more of a Google Workspace competitor, bringing in more collaborative and more open functionality. Today, we're going to overview how to create a document, how to actually utilize a document a bit further with some of their other abilities, talk about the AI, and how you can convert that into an exciting presentation. So as you can see here, you can go up to the top right hand corner and press document. You can type that in if it's not in the suggested area, or you can find it down here and start writing away. Now, most importantly, a document looks like it does in Word. You can start it giving it a title and you can actually give it a little bit of a blurb. And as you can see, what's nice about it in particular is it will utilize your branding guidelines. So if you've got brand logos, brand fonts, you can import them in already if you're using Canva. And what's good is it will take all of that insight and use it without having to actually go ahead and format it automatically. Just a small benefit of using this routinely and something that a lot of people have found helpful. So I can naturally drag anything in from another page if I want to. Maybe I want to drag the white logo for demonstration and I can go up here and add a header if I did want to. So you can use this plus button or slash command to be able to go ahead and use some regular formatting. You can even add a table, embed stuff. This is very much an interactive document. But up here, I can also create a header. I can go ahead and actually design something inside of Canva, inside of Canva to basically kick this off. So for example, if I wanted a bit more of a formal outline or maybe even something that um, gives a bit of an outline to the company, then I could use one of these and I could copy the style, press save and maybe go into it if I want to press edit design to modify it to make it a little bit more suitable for our work. But you can start to get an idea for how design within design can be helpful in Canva Docs. So one of the other elements is you can bring in stuff that you're already using Canva and elements that are part of the Canva experience. Obviously, a lot of these are part of the pro account. However, there are a good amount of your experience that you can drag in from your uploads, which is something that you can access with images and videos. So you can start to make this document really interactive. One of the things I want to show you is the artificial intelligence. If I press add magic, um, you can see here that if I type in magic type, I can prompt the artificial intelligence to give a little bit of an outline to something. So here they give an example of write five tips on out outcome writer's block. I could write something like overview what keep productive does on YouTube. Maybe I'm trying to bulk out this presentation, save me a bit of time and maybe uh, bring that into a more reality um, versus me having to write it out. So you can see here that it gives a bit of an idea um, of how we work and how we operate. So this is really cool. You can use that. Um, right now, it's a currently a beta experience. So do expect to probably pay for that in a plan. We're currently on the pro plan. So I don't know whether that affects whether you get access to it or not. Now, most importantly, you can share it. Now, sharing gives you the ability to access it internally or in your own company or with anyone with a link. And you can add people or teams up here. You can also download it as a PDF as well. And up here with this insights, you can see how many words, the read time, characters, and how many views, engagement, and collaboration appears. Now, if you're somebody externally viewing this, you can actually go ahead and add a comment. You can add a comment. You can at mention somebody in the team if you're collaborating on this. You can even add a sticker too to give more context to your comment. Now, one of the things I think is pretty cool is that they've got a timer ability down here, which is perfect for um, like going over a presentation, but you can actually convert it to a presentation. This is a fairly new feature, feature so they're saying it might be a little bit buggy, but what it can do is automatically create a presentation around what you've added to that document. Now, if you've got a brand account 
um, you can see here that the brand account, it will create one based on your color scheme and based on what you've added already. So I might want to preview some of these and be like, okay, this is really cool. I'm gonna go with this one and create the presentation. And as you can see, it's got started creating the presentation. I can go in and interact with this and I can go ahead and present it if I want to using autoplay presentations. So you can start to see the matchup between documents and presentations. And this is something that Canvas done pretty well in the past and something they continue to progress well with. And I like how they've really been able to brought the brand colors over for this. So that's another one I had earlier, but let's go back to the document that I have here. So you can see that this is a helpful way to be able to save time creating a document. One final thing I want to mention is you can use some of the doc templates up here to save a bit of time on uh, project overviews, reading lists, business proposal. If you want to save a bit of time, that's something you can do. And you can also use all of the other regular stuff that you'd expect like headers, diagrams, flowcharts, roadmaps, anything you want to visualize, you can embed it into this uh, using this ability here. So folks, hopefully you found this helpful, this guide to Canva Docs. Let me know if you have any questions, but a big, big thank you for stopping by on Keep Productive. Please do make sure to check us out over on YouTube. Thank you very much. Do subscribe and I'll see you in a future video. Cheerio.